All right, so lesson 71 is on parallelograms. So here we have the parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we know that angle A is 60 degrees. Now it wants me to find angle B and angle C. Okay. Well, I know that angles that are opposite of each other have to be the same. So that means angle C has to be the same as angle A. So angle C is equal to 60 degrees. Now angle B, if you look, if we combine angle A and B together, it gives us a straight line. Can you see the straight line here? So that means a straight line is 180 degrees. So to find angle B, we're going to do 180 minus the 60 degrees I know angle A is. Okay, so 8 minus 6 is 2, bring down the 1. So angle B is equal to 120 degrees. Okay. So remember, when you're looking for an unknown angle, you'll usually have to subtract uh, the known angle from 180 degrees. Okay. So here we want to find the area of the parallelogram. So remember, the area of a parallelogram is equal to the base times the perpendicular height, which means that the height has to be straight up and down. If you look here, this side is not straight up and down, so I can't use it for area. I have to use the side, the side, the height, which is perpendicular, straight up and down. Okay. So my area is equal to base times height, which is equal to 5 times 6. Oh, excuse me, 6 times 5. Base. Base is 6. Height is 5. Okay. Which is equal to 30 centimeters. And remember to square it because when we're dealing with area, we always square the centimeters. Okay. On this one, we, have, we want to find the perimeter and the area. So remember, the area is base times the perpendicular height. And the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. Okay. So let's find the area first. Here's my base is 8 and my height is 10 because it's the perpendicular height. So my area is equal to 8 times 10 which is equal to 80 meters squared. Now the perimeter is the sum of all, all the sides. My height here is not one of the sides. It is just the height of my parallelogram. So I do not use the height when finding the perimeter. When I'm finding the perimeter, I want to use the sides of my shape. And if you remember, opposite sides are the same. So this side's going to be 12, and this side up here is going to be 8 meters. So let's add those all together. Perimeter. So we have 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8. Okay. So I know that 8 plus 2 is 10, and 8 plus 2 is 10. So that's going to be 20. Put the 0 down, carry my 2. 2 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So my perimeter is equal to 40 meters. Do not square perimeter. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.